ever pondered about the elements around you and their significance in our lives, it's a thought that tickles the mind, isn't it? The world around us is not as simple as it appears. There's a deeper layer to it that's often overlooked, encapsulated within the five cardinal elements. Fire, water, earth, air and ether. These elements not only shape our physical world, but also hold profound esoteric meanings. Join in as we unravel the mysteries of these elements and their esoteric meanings. Fire, the igniting force, holds a seat of honour among the elements. Picture a scene from ancient folklore. The sun, the mighty giver of life, is vanishing, swallowed by the encroaching night. All seems lost, but then a spark. A tiny spark that gives birth to a flame. A flame that becomes a beacon, a symbol of hope in the dark. This, my friends, is the power of fire. From the hearths of our ancestors to the combustion engines that power our world today, fire has always been a transformative force. It takes the raw and the unrefined, and through its unyielding heat, transforms them into something new, something useful. This is the essence of fire, transformation. It is the catalyst that spurs change, the spark that ignites innovation, the warmth that fosters growth. But fire is not just about physical transformation. It's also a symbol of passion, of a burning desire that fuels our dreams and ambitions. Just as a fire can turn a simple piece of wood into a source of heat and light, so too can our passions turn our raw potential into something truly extraordinary. Fire teaches us to channel our inner flame, to harness its energy to achieve our goals, to burn brightly in the face of adversity. And yet fire is also a force of purification. In many cultures, fire is seen as a purifier, a cleanser of the soul. It burns away the old, the unnecessary, making way for the new, the essential. It's a reminder that sometimes we need to let go of what no longer serves us, to make room for growth and renewal. So, you see, fire isn't just an element, it's an igniting force, a transformative power, a passionate flame, a purifying blaze. It's a symbol of our ability to change, to grow, to shine brightly, to cleanse and renew ourselves. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and a beacon of hope in the face of darkness. Fire, thus, symbolizes transformation and our inner light. Water, the life-giving element, is the symbol of emotions and intuition. It moves, it flows, it adapts, just as we do in life. And just as water can be calm and serene or turbulent and destructive, so too can our emotions vary in intensity and impact. Let us delve into a tale from ancient mythology that beautifully encapsulates the essence of water. The Greeks revered water in the form of Poseidon, the god of the sea, who was known for his volatile temper and unpredictable nature, much like the sea itself. He could be as calm as a still pool or as furious as a stormy ocean. This duality of water, its ability to be both gentle and powerful, reflects the depth and range of our own emotions. Water is also known for its healing properties. Consider the mythical healing waters of the Fountain of Youth believed to restore the youth of anyone who drinks or bathes in its waters. The healing aspect of water can be equated with our ability to recover and heal emotionally. We too possess the capacity for renewal, for washing away the pain of the past and embracing the flow of new experiences. Moreover, water is adaptable. Whether it's filling a vessel or carving a path through the earth, water's flexibility mirrors our own ability to adapt to life's many challenges. Just as water can make its way around any obstacle, so too can we navigate through difficulties, finding our own path forward. Lastly, water symbolises depth of feelings. Much like the ocean is deep and full of unseen mysteries, our emotions too run deep, often hidden beneath the surface. By acknowledging and exploring these depths, we can gain a greater understanding of ourselves and harness our emotional strength. Water, therefore, represents our emotional depth and our ability to adapt and heal. Just as water shapes the earth, our emotions shape us, making us who we are. So, let us honour and respect our emotions, for they are as vital and as powerful as the life-giving element of water. Earth, our grounding element, signifies stability and nourishment. It is the foundation upon which we build our lives, the soil from which our dreams take root and grow. Let's delve into an ancient tale, once upon a time, Gaia, the goddess of Earth in Greek mythology, emerged from the primordial chaos. She was the mother of all, the nurturer who provided sustenance and shelter to her children.
Gaia's story is a testament to the nurturing quality of the Earth element. It is the loving embrace of Mother Nature, offering us food, shelter, and a place to rest our weary feet. It is the grounding force that connects us to the physical world, reminding us of our mortality and the transient beauty of life. The Earth is also a symbol of manifestation. Consider the seed buried in the ground. With time, warmth and water, it sprouts, reaching upwards towards the sky. It is a perfect representation of the manifestation of potential into reality. Our dreams and desires, much like the seed, require the nurturing qualities of the Earth to come to fruition. They need a stable foundation, a place to take root, and the nourishment to grow. The Earth element is not just about physical grounding and manifestation. It is also about emotional and spiritual grounding. It is about feeling centered and balanced, no matter what storms may rage around us. It is about staying connected to our roots, to our core values, and to the essence of who we are. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, we often forget the importance of grounding. We lose touch with the earth, and in doing so, we lose touch with a part of ourselves. But remember, just as a tree with deep roots is not toppled by the storm, a person grounded in their values and connected to the earth can weather the trials of life. Earth symbolizes our connection to our roots and the manifestation of our desires. It is the grounding element that nurtures us, supports us, and helps us manifest our dreams into reality. Air, the breath of life, stands for intellect and communication. A vital element, as elusive as it is essential, air represents that which is unseen but profoundly influential. Let's journey through an ancient tale to better understand this intriguing element. In Greek mythology, Aeolus, the divine keeper of the winds, held a powerful position. He could command the winds, directing them to either be calm or stir up storms. Aeolus was known for his wisdom, his ability to understand the needs of the gods and of the world. He was an embodiment of Aeolus' qualities, wisdom, freedom and expansiveness. Much like Aeolus, Aeolus is a symbol of wisdom. It's not bound by any form, free to travel where it will, carrying messages from one corner of the world to another. It whispers the secrets of the universe to those who listen, offering wisdom to those open to receive it. Air represents freedom. Unseen and unfelt, it is still ever-present, touching every aspect of our lives. It cannot be contained or controlled, moving freely across borders and boundaries, defying limits and expectations. It's a reminder of our own inherent freedom, our ability to move beyond constraints, to explore, to experience and to grow. Expansiveness is another characteristic of air. It fills every available space, expands to fit any container. It's a symbol of our ability to broaden our horizons, to open our minds and hearts, to embrace new ideas and perspectives. Air also stands for communication. It carries sound, allowing us to express ourselves and connect with others. It facilitates the exchange of ideas, the sharing of knowledge, the expression of emotions. It's about openness, dialogue and understanding. In essence, air is not just the breath of life, it is the breath of the mind, the spirit, the very essence of our being. It connects us with the world around us and with ourselves. It speaks to our innate wisdom, our desire for freedom and our capacity for growth. Air signifies our intellectual freedom and our ability to communicate and express ourselves. It reminds us that we are, in every sense, creatures of the air, boundless and free. Ether, the elusive fifth element, is the quintessence that binds all other elements. In the annals of ancient Greek mythology, Ether was the personification of the upper sky, the space where gods resided, beyond the reach of mortal men. It was believed to be the air that the deities breathed, a realm of purity, light and absolute tranquility. Ether, in essence, was the divine medium that permeated all of cosmos, connecting everything that exists. In the esoteric realm, ether is often associated with spirituality, transcendence and unity. It is the element that represents the unseen, the spirit, the ether. It transcends the physicality of earth, the fluidity of water, the dynamic energy of fire and the constant motion of air. Ether is the realm of the soul, the realm of dreams, intuition and psychic abilities. It is the bridge between the tangible and the intangible, the known and the unknown, the conscious and the subconscious. Consider this. When a seed is planted in the earth, it requires water for nourishment, air for growth, and fire in the form of sunlight for life. 
These elements alone, however, are insufficient for the seed to sprout, grow and eventually blossom into a flower. There is an unseen force, a divine spark, that guides its growth, its transformation. That force, that spark, is ether. Ether embodies the concept of unity and diversity. It is the element that encompasses all other elements, holding them together, allowing them to interact and work in harmony. It is the silent symphony that orchestrates the dance of the elements, the cosmic glue that binds the universe together. From an esoteric standpoint, understanding ether means understanding the interconnectedness of all things, recognizing the divine in everything, and acknowledging that we are all part of a grand cosmic dance orchestrated by the quintessence that is ether. Ether represents our spiritual transcendence and the unity of all elements. Intriguing, isn't it, how these elements intertwine with our existence? Fire ignites our passion, while water governs our emotions, flowing like life itself. Earth keeps us grounded, tethering us to reality, and air, ever elusive, is the breath of life that sustains us. Ascending beyond the tangible, ether, the quintessence, represents the spirit that transcends the physical realm. These elements, in their esoteric wisdom, offer insights into our lives. Embrace these elements, and you embrace the very essence of your being.